show works. So I want to get to uh, the meat of the show today, really. Uh, you, Eugene, you dedicate a lot of your efforts on innovation, right? So in your perspective, why? Why is innovation so important? Yeah, um, I, I think that, and, and that is that is uh, what I'd like to 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 uh, the viewers of your show to realize is that the our view on, on innovation, our view on its relevance, our view of importance of, of innovation has changed dramatically over the past maybe two tens, uh, two decades. Uh, 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 30, maybe even 20 years ago, innovation was mostly a competitive tool. So companies innovated to create products, new products and services to beat their competition, to increase their market share, I don't know, to, 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 to become industry leaders. Not anymore. Now innovation is a tool of survival. You innovate not to be beaten by your competitors, not to lose your market share, not to be disrupted by young brass startups. Again, it's survival too. As I change the whole conversation, it creates a sense of urgency. And that's why we hear so much talk about innovation recently. There lies another problem, actually. These talks are not often effectively converted into deeds. And that is something that what, what troubles me, and that's something that I'm kind of you know, intellectually very curious about and want to contribute to, to understanding and advance. Now, I, I want to continue along uh, this line of thoughts. So in your writings, uh, you explain that pursuing innovation is, is really um, not easy, right? Not only that, not only is not easy, but you also mentioned that, you know, people are often not clear, right? Uh, what needs to be done to foster innovation. So people, you know, it's not easy, people are not clear. So uh, could you please explain what is the problem? Well, um, there are a few problems. One of them, and uh, this problem is kind of manifested in, in a, a line you can quite often, unfortunately, hear. In our organization, innovation is everyone's job. And it, it actually, this idea actually popular in organization, even in some kind of you know, academic and business circles. And that's one problem because, uh, well, we all know uh, everyone who, who has even passion and understanding of how corporation works knows that when everyone is responsible for something, no one is. And uh, so, so uh, organizations don't define what innovation means for them, not what innovation means, you know, you know for, for, for dictionary, for publication, what it means for them. And don't convert this knowledge into some specific program. That's one thing. Believing that you know, innovation is, is everyone's job, it will, it will somehow happen by itself. And again, that, that's why it's so popular because, because corporate, it frees corporate leaders from actually doing job on defining innovation and, and creation, uh, creating conditions for successful innovation. That's one problem. Uh, the second problem is some innovation tools, and unfortunately, crowdsourcing is one of them, are not terribly intuitive. You really need to understand what it is. And people make many mistakes uh, applying crowdsourcing or what they believe is crowdsourcing, uh, getting the wrong results and then claiming, well, wisdom of crowns doesn't work for us. So this kind of lack of focus, this lack of knowledge creates this sometime um, kind of anemic feeling of what innovation, of corporate innovation 